A lady plays the piano for the last time after her apartment is shelled by Russian forces in Kyiv. This is the best video I have ever witnessed since the war started. Kyiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said Russian airstrikes had damaged several residential areas in the city's Podol neighborhood, just north of the city center and a short distance from the government quarter, where the presidential palace is located. Presidential office, presidential office and other important institutions about 2.5 kilometers. Kyiv residents had to gather in their homes and shelters amid a citywide curfew that lasted until Thursday morning as Russia shelled areas in and around the city. Earlier, a 12-story apartment building in central Kyiv caught fire after being hit by shrapnel. Earlier Ukrainian president Zelensky gave an online speech to the US Congress at the invitation of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Zelensky's remarks came a day after US President Joe Biden signed off on a $13 billion aid package for Ukraine. Opening, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky received a welcome from bipartisan members of the US Congress when he appeared on the screen to prepare an online speech, believed to be from Kyiv, Ukraine. Speaking in Ukrainian, Mr. Zelensky reused the words of the late Pastor Martin Luther King when he called for a no-fly zone in Ukraine. I have a dream. I need to protect our skies. The Ukrainian president expressed gratitude for President Joe Biden's support, but called on the US to further support Ukraine. With a calm demeanor of a leader and practical thinking, President Zelensky did not put the United States in a dilemma when he raised the issue of setting up a no-fly zone to prevent Russian planes from dropping bombs on civilians. In fact, Russia used planes to bomb many public areas such as hospitals, schools, most recently a theater with thousands of people sheltering. It is too big to ask for a no-fly zone over Ukraine to save people. Humane no-fly zone so. Russia cannot terrorize our free cities. If such a request is too much, we would like to offer an alternative, which is the S-300 defense system or similar. Zelensky said that the capital Kyiv is bombarded by planes and missiles from Russian forces every day, and that his country is in its worst war since World War II. However, Mr. Zelensky said, Kyiv does not give up. After a few minutes of Speaking, Mr. Zelensky showed a video of the fighting situation in Ukraine and the attacks of the Russian army. Mr. Zelensky called on the West to do more in the sanctions package. The Ukrainian president also urged the US to hand over US planes to Kyiv. The planes can help Ukraine, help Europe, and obviously you have them. But these planes are not in Ukraine's airspace right now and they have not come to protect us, Zelensky told US lawmakers. Mr. Zelensky also said that there must be a way to prevent war in the world. We propose to form an association of countries to immediately prevent conflict, provide all necessary assistance within 24 hours, including weapons if needed, possibly impose sanctioned sanctions, providing humanitarian, political, and financial assistance to keep the peace and quickly save the world, save lives. Today, being the leader of a country is not enough. To be a leader of the world means to be a leader of peace. Peace in your country no longer depends on you and your people. It depends on those around you who are strong. To be strong is to be brave and ready to fight for the lives of your citizens and the people of the world. For human rights. For self for the sake of the right to live and die when the time comes, not when others want to, Zelensky said. I don't see any meaning in life if it can't be stopped. This is my main problem as the leader of the people, of the great Ukrainians, and the leader of the country country, Zelensky said in English at the end of his address to the US Congress. He also called on the United States to return to the leadership position for world peace. At the end of the talk, all members of the bipartisan group stood up and applauded. Prime Minister Kishida is also offering to hold a talk for the Ukrainian president before the Japanese parliament. Mr. Zelensky is inspiring nations at stake. It is understood that this war is not just for the Ukrainians. Meanwhile, the UN's International Court of Justice has ruled that Russia should immediately stop its acts of war on Ukrainian soil. The US president frankly answered in an interview, it would have been possible to consider Putin a war criminal.
Earlier, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky, after speaking to British lawmakers via video link in the House of Commons on March 8, and this speech was assessed by British Prime Minister Boris Johnson as moving people.